New York, meanwhile, is distributing free masks to its residents. Finally, bars and restaurants have reopened in Serbia, of all places, and Hong Kong has posted its biggest ever quarterly economic contraction, its GDP shrinking nearly 9%. A very interesting lineup in today's Gravitas Coronavirus Tracker. Small business, including restaurants and hairdressers, have reopened in Spain. Lockdown restrictions will be completely lifted in a three-phase move. Spain has reduced the daily increase in the number of cases to under 1%. The country has 217,466 cases of the coronavirus and 25,264 deaths. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern will hold a meeting with Aussie Prime Minister Scott Morrison. The two countries are discussing opening a trans-Tasman travel bubble. A joint economic recovery plan is also on the agenda. The city of New York is distributing 7.5 million masks to its residents. Masks will be distributed at grocery stores and parks. City will also maintain a 90-day strategic reserve stockpile of PPEs to battle future outbreaks. Bars and restaurants reopened in Serbia. Shopping malls too have been allowed to reopen. Partial resumption of rail and bus services have also been allowed. Serbian government has allowed relaxations after nearly two months of total lockdown. The state of emergency will be lifted later this week. Hong Kong's GDP has plummeted in the first quarter. These figures are 8.9% lower year on year. Months of political controversy, massive pro-democracy protest, the US-China trade dispute and coronavirus lockdown has had a huge negative impact on Hong Kong's economy. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has extended the state of emergency. Lockdown restrictions will remain in place till the end of May. Abe said that while lockdown has slowed the number of new infections, Japan has still not reached its desired target. More than 22,000 people have signed a petition demanding a green recovery from the lockdown. Petitioners demand that government aid to various sectors be linked to reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. Environmental activists delivered the petition to a special session of the parliament. Surfers returned to the beach in Portugal, while the beaches remained closed for public. Government has allowed water sports to resume. Portugal has also allowed small shops to reopen in a phased easing of the lockdown. South Korea will begin reopening its schools from the 13th of May. Only high school seniors will be allowed back to school in phase one. Students in lower grades will resume classes in the upcoming weeks. 5.4 million students have been taking online classes since the coronavirus outbreak. Players of the AS Roma have returned to the team's training ground. Players will undergo various medical tests, including for coronavirus, for the first three days. The footballers will be allowed to train individually from the 7th of May. No date has been finalized for the restart of the Italian league, which remains suspended since the 9th of March.